between 70 to 80 percent of all felonies or serious street crimes are linked to illegal drugs. In the latest homicide incident in Pasay City, midnight last night, that yields three fatalities from gunshot wounds, smacks of a narcotics deal gone wrong, as PTV's Noel Talakay narrates in this report. This white private vehicle was almost covered with bullet marks after a shooting incident at 12.10 this morning in Barangay 190, Pasay City. Inside the said vehicle, Pasay police found dead bodies of one female and two males. Mukha siyang magpa-parking sana yun eh. Sabay, hindi siya nakaparking, gawa ng jeep. Pagbabaan siya ng konti. Bigla may sumulput dun sa likod ng jeep na lalaki. Naka-bonnet. Tapos yung binaril na lang sila ng binaril. Barangay Chairman Alma Pichay confirmed that the three victims are not residents of Barangay 190. Kasi yung mga residente namin, usually talaga, ang park niyan dito sa amin malapit. Kasi yung uh, dito sa lugar namin, marami talaga dito mga space na malalaki ang lugar. Yung karamihan, ang nagpa-park dyan, karamihan nga, eh yung mga taga-ibang barangay pa. The CCTV footage of Barangay 190 showed the car of the victims was in hazard signal while a young boy was also walking towards the direction of the victim's car. After a few minutes, a series of gunfire from the suspect was seen on CCTV while the young boy had run away immediately from the crime scene. Pasay City Police said they received a call from a concerned citizen about the shooting incident. They immediately responded. According to their initial investigation, the victims are from Batangas City. A caliber 45 gun was used by the suspects based on empty gun shell recovered from the crime scene. Oh, mula sa sasakyan, nakarecover yung mga investigator natin ng isang baril at uh, uh, isang uh, plastic sachet na pinaginala ang shabu. With this, Pasay Police is considering the possibility that the said crime might be connected to illegal drugs trading. Pasay City PNP is still conducting a thorough investigation of the said shooting incident in order to know the identity of the suspects and their motives. Noel Talakay for the Nation.